Hello everybody, it's Lurgs here. Welcome to my channel. I'm here to save you time and money. And today, it's iMovie on your iPhone or iPad. Does iMovie use compression? I'm just gonna do a quick experiment. I'm gonna load in a video and then I'm gonna export it in iMovie and then I'm gonna reload that exported video back into iMovie, export that, then reload that exported one and I'm gonna do that 10 times. So at the end, I'll have 10 exported files and we'll find out how much compression has happened and whether we've got any loss of quality. Right, let's get cracking. All the footage exported from iMovie will be at 1080p and 60 frames per second. If you don't know how to export at 60 frames per second, there's a link above now about how to do that. Now, just to briefly explain again what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be taking original iPhone footage loading that into iMovie, then exporting that footage to my first export. Then I'm gonna be taking that footage, importing that back into iMovie, exporting that, and then importing that footage back into iMovie, exporting, basically doing that 10 times. And by the 10th export, we'll see if the footage has degraded. Now I'm on my iPhone here, so if I just go into iMovie and start a new project, start a movie, now the clip I'm going to import is footage of the sea, so it's fast moving footage, which would need a high compression rate to keep it at good quality. So I'm loading that in, and then I'm gonna export it at 1080p and 60 frames per second. And this is my first export. And there's a link above now about how to transfer voice memos from your iPhone to your computer. And now I'm gonna start a new project and I'm gonna load in that exported file and then save that and export that file. And I'm gonna do this until I've got 10 exported files. And I'll speed all this footage up because obviously that would take a long time. As I said earlier, these are all being exported at highest quality. 1080p and 60 frames per second. And there's a link above now about how to transfer everything from your old iPhone to a brand new iPhone using the iCloud. So everything is identical on your new iPhone. Okay, so I've finished doing that with iMovie and now you can see in my photo album, I've got 10 exported video footage files. And what I'm gonna do now is put those onto the computer and here we are on the computer. I've just transferred these across. And as you can see, the original footage is 64 megabytes and 22 seconds long. And I've sorted them by date created order. And as you can see, the more I export, the lower the file size gets. So that obviously means that it's doing more and more compression. Let's just look at the properties of the original file and go to details. It's full HD, 1080p, and the video bitrate is 23,843. Obviously, the higher the video bitrate, the better the quality, and you want this number to be as high as possible. Now let's go to the 10th exported file and look at the properties of this. It's still 60 frames per second, but the video bitrate is down to 14,000. And the file size is about 60% of the original size. So let's just have a look at the original footage and the 10th exported footage side by side. And as you can see, the 10th export on the right hand side, it's definitely a bit fuzzier. It's a bit grainy. You've definitely got lots of compression going on there. But if you're using iOS iMovie just to edit some videos and export it just the once, you really aren't going to notice any difference in quality at all and I'll tell you what I think that deserves a lovely cup of tea oh if you'd like more how to's on how to save you time and money then please press the subscribe button down here I really do appreciate you visiting my channel everyone if you'd like to select any other videos around here that'd be really cool and be sure to hit that bell notification tab